Okay, I thought I would give you guys just a quick walkthrough of the Ubuntu 10.10 .10 Alpha 3 brand new Unity interface that's being applied to the Netbook Remix. So, right now I've got it booted up. It actually took uh, forever and two days to actually get it running for some reason. It might be that I'm running it from a USB drive. I'm actually running this live. It could be that it's just that slow. I honestly don't know. I don't think it's a problem with my netbook though because I've tried several different distros on it and they all run beautifully. This one is just taking forever to do much of anything. So basically, let's just start top to bottom, left to right, and go over what's in this new Unity interface. So top left, we've got this Ubuntu button. Normally, you would expect to see the menu, the, the no menu of some sort, but if you click on it, it pops out this neat little, I would believe, clutter or mutter powered interface. I don't know what it actually is, uh, but it's got the files and folders that you would see by default. Now, I do remember seeing something else before there we go we had the documents folders images all these things that you would expect to see on your normal hard drive here so you do have that option this appears to be off just a little bit I don't know if you can see that but it uh, it's it looks like the buttons the left and right buttons should be within these little boxes and these little boxes are not actually where they're supposed to be but let's just go ahead and open one of these folders and see what happens slowly but surely it does open up Nautilus without the main menu there you'll notice we have the global menu here at the top that was actually the next thing I was going to mention so while we're at it we'll just say about there we go it's showing that we have Nautilus 2.30 uh, it doesn't appear that it's hundred percent integrated yet but it is a step in the right direction we do have a global menu available and I believe this still has Nautilus open so it is an option there if I go ahead and close it we should go back to desktop but it is not working as it should be so it might just be that I'm doing something wrong and feel free to let me know in the comments below if I am but moving on over to the right hand side we've got our wireless we can connect to whatever wireless or wired networks we want to here we've got the battery monitor see I've got three hours of battery life left I do love having a netbook the Bluetooth monitor the volume icon with the unmute if you want to have audio on it of course the default sound preferences that you'd expect to see out of GNOME you've got your chat icons. This is the whole me menu two-part thing where you've got the, the second half over here to display your session information, your status, and all of those things. Your clock here does look a little bit different than before, your time and date and all that fun stuff. And This is definitely a whole new time and date interface. At least it's one I'm not familiar with. I've looked at it on the old Ubuntu and it doesn't appear to be the same. And of course your shutdown, lock screen, reboot, all those fun things options there. Now the biggest change is this panel down the left hand side with all of your commonly used applications. Now I'm not sure how this is going to work in the long run, but so far on the live installation you've got the ability to install Ubuntu Netbook Remix just like you'd expect. You've got your web browser, you've got calendar, cheese, empathy, file manager, help, the Ubuntu Software Center, the rhythm box. This appears to be a desktop switcher, but there's only one desktop on there at the moment, so I wouldn't expect that to do much. And then you'll notice it very slowly moves down, and that, again, might have something to do with the live interface. It might have something to do with my netbook, but it should not be the netbook. So if files and folders doesn't appear to do anything yet. Can't right-click on it. I've noticed the right-click button doesn't seem to do all that much anymore. So the Applications button doesn't appear to do anything, and there's the Trash icon that pulls up the trash. So I don't know, I'm guessing that Unity is still just not 100% complete yet. It's a very interesting and innovative new interface, and I look forward to seeing where they go with it. But uh, so far, it's, it's kind of slow, it's kind of clunky. Uh, I don't like the, ability, the, the lack of the ability to customize it, at least as far as I can tell. Like I said, there are very few options as far as what you can do at the moment. Uh, Right-clicking doesn't appear to do anything. I'm trying with both a mouse and with a touchpad. Nothing happens don't appear to be able to actually quit out of the applications from the global menu. Uh, like I said before, this is an alpha, so it's still an early build. Uh, hopefully by the beta or by the release candidate, we'll have a whole lot more, uh, more sturdy interface, I guess you would say. And by the final release, I would assume that it's going to be finished, or else they probably won't release with this being the default for netbooks. But that's just a quick look at Ubuntu Unity's interface. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. Uh, as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.